Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, unicorn lovers and all you other freaks of nature. Welcome to Flea Gaming, my name is Hanks and today I got a story for you. Uh, when I was about 16 or 17 years old, I was playing hockey and uh, I was the goaltender on, uh, on the local team back home. And uh, we were playing a tournament and uh, we were facing off against a Norwegian team. I, live, I lived pretty... F close to the Norwegian border so we we included some of the Norwegian team just to fill up the the places of the tournament and um, I think it was the second game of the day the first game we won by about 17 to 2 or something like that we were pretty good <laughs> so I didn't have much to do and uh, against that Norwegian team uh, I think it was in the second period or third period. Uh, we were up by three goals. I think it was three to one or four to one or something. And uh, I went down and blocked the puck. I did a save and I blocked the puck. And as I look up from the ice, uh, all I could see was a black skate. And that skate kicked me in the head. <laughs> and uh, if you've been in a car accident or if you know someone that's been in a car accident, the whiplash injury is horrible and uh, my head literally whipped back and uh, down to the ice and uh, I couldn't feel anything so I was wondering what the deuce can I get up from the ice or something and uh, the referees and uh, the my teammates and everyone they said like they was yelling at me to stay down don't move <laughs> and stuff like that and uh, I was asking am I bleeding am I being injured really hard or something but I couldn't feel anything, it was no pain, except from a little bump on the forehead, because the helmet uh, didn't catch all of the force. And uh, as I was lying there, I heard my mom up on the on the stands, she was like yelling at me. <laughs> that was the first game of the year she was watching, so <laughs> good timing. And uh, my dad, he was uh, one of the leaders of the team, so he ran out on the ice and uh, took a look at me and uh, he realized that I was hurt. I was really badly hurt. I was injured and um, uh, they called the ambulance and I couldn't feel a thing so I was wondering what all the fuss was about. And uh, when the ambulance came they took me off the ice and they put my stretcher and everything. They cut open all of my gear and everything and I mean goalie pads and things that are expensive shit so I was pretty bummed and pretty mad about it. And uh, <clears throat> uh, when I was lying there on the stretcher and uh, the paramedics, they told me that, or they asked me, do you feel this? And I said, Fel, Fel, feel what? Felt what? And uh, <laughs> they would try, you know, the reflexes when they try, when they test under the, under the foot on people when they are paralyzed and everything. They, like, there's like a pizza slicer, but with spikes. And they rolled it up and down the legs and everything, I couldn't feel a thing. So, I was 16, 17, thinking, well, that was a bummer. I'm gonna be parallel for the rest of my life now. And uh, I did start crying then, but I, in the ambulance, way by, back to the hospital, uh, my tears just wouldn't stop flowing. Because that was not the life I was uh, <laughs> imagining myself to be in when I'm, like, like now when I'm 34. Uh, I couldn't imagine being paralyzed and I feel for everyone that is paralyzed and everything and uh, When we came to the hospital, I was rushed down to the x-ray room and everything they x-rayed my spine and uh, my back and uh, Everything I, I'm not a doctor, so I don't know exactly what they did and um, I was rolled up to a room and uh, I was lying there I couldn't move my dad sat beside me and I could see that he was sad and uh, I was sad as well, but <laughs> like the two douches we are, we was just suck it up, brave and everything, making some jokes, like everyone does in a situation like that, or I don't know. And um, the doctor came in and he said, well, we can't see any fractures, we can't see why you can't move. And he did the, the pizza rolling test once again and no reaction. So he was like, he didn't know what to believe. So. They called in one of those chiropractors uh, for uh, for my back and he just took a real good feel of my back and everything and uh, he said, ah, oh, this is the problem. And uh, he like twisted me around and cracked my back and everything so literally on two seconds 
I started to get this feelings back in my arms and legs and everything and the <laughs> When you know when you've been lying on your arm for quite a while and it falls asleep and then it wakes back up, it hurts like hell. That was literally entire body it was tingling and it hurt like hell. So I lied there <laughs> screaming a bit because it it was painful. And uh, they explained to me that there was uh, some nerves. I'm not sure what it's called, but there was some nerves that had been uh, janked together or. S squeezed out of place or something like that between my vertebras and everything so I was one lucky guy because I thought I was going to be paralyzed but then this chiropractor came in and just twisted my neck and back and everything so I was really lucky and uh, the doctor asked me if uh, or I asked the doctor if uh, I could play hockey again soon and he was like well you need to take a break for at least two or three weeks because you need to like heal up and everything because the because the kick in my head as as really my muscles and neck and everything was <laughs> was really bad hurt so uh, the next day I went up to the tournament again the the very night and uh, next morning we had a game and uh, well I played <laughs> so and I got the shout out so I mean uh, I was one lucky guy and uh, I can imagine being paralyzed and everything and props to everyone out there that has been injured and paralyzed and everything I I don't know how you can I mean I couldn't imagine being that so this was a pretty long video I just want to share one of the most horrible moments of my life and um, that's pretty much it I wanna thank you all for staying in this close it's been like seven minutes or something and uh, really hope you enjoy it and let me know if you want me to tell any more hockey stories because I have a few. So let me know in the comment sections, leave a like, leave a comment and um, guess I'll see you in my next video. Thanks a lot, goodbye.